Hi everyone, I'm Adam Harriton and I'd like to introduce you to a beautiful tree right behind me. This is an eastern hemlock tree or Suga canadensis. Now not only is it a beautiful tree, which just so happens to be our state tree here in Pennsylvania, but it's also unparalleled in value for the wildlife here in Pennsylvania in the ecosystems that it inhabits and also for humans as well. Now I recently attended a great program on hemlock trees at McConnell's Mill State Park led by the park's environmental education specialist Natalie Simon. Natalie leads not only programs at McConnell's Mill State Park but another great state park just up the road Moraine State Park. Natalie is an expert on hemlock trees. She's very knowledgeable in the flora and fauna of Western Pennsylvania. And she's just an all around exceptional naturalist and we're really fortunate to have her leading programs here for us in Western Pennsylvania. I enjoyed the program so much, I thought I'd ask her a few questions right afterwards. And I'm bringing this interview forward for you today so that just like me, you can learn a lot about the hemlock trees directly from Natalie Simon. Thanks so much for tuning in. Let's go see what Natalie has to say about hemlock trees. How are you doing today, Natalie? Thanks for being good, here. Good, good. Thank you, Adam. So we just finished up your Hemlock Walk. Excellent program. I attended it last year. Liked it so much, I learned a lot, thought I'd come back. Hopefully ask you some questions, so I'm glad you're here today. And I have to ask you, why Hemlock trees? So there's so many different trees here in Pennsylvania, so many here at McConnell's Mill. We've got maples and oaks and birches. What's so special about the Hemlock trees? Well, we do have more trees in Pennsylvania than more types of trees than any other state. And so that's a, that's a good question. Hemlock is not only our state tree, but there are many areas of Pennsylvania, uh, I'll call them the Hemlock Valleys, with maybe a little stream and a waterfall running through that are, that are unique. The hemlocks aren't just mixed in with all the other trees. They define an area. They're a foundational species for these beautiful little rocky valleys. Uh, here at McConnell's Mill State Park, of course, we have the gorge, which goes 400 feet deep in places, and the, the roaring river under it. And the trees that line it, um, all the, the evergreen trees are predominantly hemlocks, and it makes for a very special area. Hmm. And so here in western Pennsylvania, hemlock trees are very important, especially uh, a couple centuries ago, even probably still now a little bit. Can you talk a little bit about the industry in Pennsylvania, how that was based around the hemlock tree? Well, our, our walk today was in Hills Hollow, which was named after a, a, uh, someone who was lost in the Slippery Rock Gorge and came up this little tributary and saw the glowing lights of the lime kiln and the iron furnaces and thought, okay, now we're really lost at night. And so they, they named it Hells Hollow. But it's, a, um, uh, it's actually a very beautiful place, but it still has the remnants of that industrial history. We have limestone here and uh, stones with iron ore in them. And so that with the water power made it an industrial area. And um, of course, hemlock trees in general were very important to the um, fur tanning industry. Fur was a big product of early Pennsylvania. Uh, the, the trappers and uh, it was a commodity needed all over the world and to tan the fur they would use the bark from hemlock trees and uh, it took quite a few did quite a few logging operations to do that hmm. and we talked about the importance for wildlife and obviously for humans which is what mm -hmm. you just discussed there's also a big threat that's going around right now as far as the hemlock trees are involved. Can you describe a little bit about that invasive pest that you were just discussing? Well, trees of course have a lot of things that can happen to them from development to fire to vandalism and damage. Uh, and there are many, many insect pests that, that attack many different kinds of trees. Uh, there's there's uh, the elongate hemlock scale, and the hemlock borer and a host of others but the the one i think we're most concerned about right now is the hemlock woolly adelgid because it just seems to be taking over a lot of areas and killing hemlocks uh, south of us in the appalachians and the great smokies they've been the hemlocks there have uh, had high mortality from this pest and it's working its way across Pennsylvania. We don't know of it, 
in uh, here in Lawrence County yet, but um, it travels by birds and, and some other means. And so we're um, doing a lot of planning behind the scenes uh, to help conserve as many of these hemlock valleys as we can. So you don't see it here at McConnell's Mill yet? Not yet. Seen it? That's okay. not been confirmed yet. And it, it seems like such a large issue, sometimes beyond our personal control. Is there anything we can do on an individual level, either to increase awareness or even improve the situation mm -hmm. in any way? Well, it is a large issue because those hemlocks are a foundation species that define that area. They are the thing that grows in those, those rocky valleys and they keep the water cool for the trout and, and make a, a special habitat for that. And, and that's why we feel it's so important to, to do something with it. Uh, we have a lot of um, resource managers in Department of Conservation and Natural Resources that are, that are working on the, on the issue. And, but as, as individuals, uh, number one is to learn what it looks like and keep an eye out for it. Since we haven't seen it here yet, and you see it best in winter as little white tufts on the underside of the hemlock branches going right down the center. And, and so as you're just out enjoying the woods, if you look underneath some of the hemlock branches, uh, if you should happen to find it, take a photo and GPS coordinates and uh, call the park office, the Marine Park office, and uh, just let us know and we'll, we'll try to check it out. Um, also, uh, our North Country Trail group works on a lot of trails in the in the parks. The Wampum, Wampum chapter of the North Country Trail maintains uh, the majority of the trails in McConnell's Mill State Park, and uh, that's a good place to volunteer your time, just helping maintain the trails. And it's a it's a nice group to be out with. They have a lot of work weeks and work sessions to keep those trails in good shape, and they are also monitoring for that pest as well as any other challenges to the to the woods. Besides the hemlock tree program, mm -hmm. are there any other programs you're excited for this year, either at McConnell's Mill Marine State Park, or is the schedule not worked out yet? Oh, we're we're really excited about our, uh, we have a kids day camp every year called Discovery Day Camp for different uh, age groups. Uh, registration will be open sometime in May for that, uh, and it goes June and into early July, and uh, the 6 to six to nine year olds are studying trees mm. and the four and five year olds are looking in the lake mm. and the nine through twelve year olds are doing outdoor recreation of mm. all sorts of things camping and woodland skills and so it's a very popular program we also have uh, night programs like firefly programs and bats and owl prowls and hikes and we're excited about that and we have our kayak paddles over at Moraine and um, the grist mill has guided tours that you can learn a lot about that special place. So you have a lot going on this yeah. year. Yeah, <laughs> it can be found. Not just hemlock trees yeah. here. <laughs> we have a new calendar of events for DCNR so if you just google DCNR event calendar uh, you can follow you can see pictures from an upcoming event yeah. you can follow it you can sign up for it, all sorts of different interaction with that website. yeah it's a great website it's newly launched or newly designed yeah, yeah real different. easy to use and all the events are there i'll link to that information down below yeah you can pick our parks as your favorites <laughs> it is one of my favorites here uh -huh. i got a lot of people watching this video so i don't know if i can make any claims on which one is my uh. favorite um but yeah thanks so much really appreciate it thanks okay. for sharing your knowledge and your expertise and thanks for doing the work that you do. Well, thank you for getting the word out there. <laughs> You're welcome. Thanks. Uh, Natalie Simon, she's the Environmental Education Specialist here at McConnellsville and also at Moraine State Park. Thanks again, Natalie. Thank you.